All right, guys, we're here for another caregiver tip. And in January, we're talking about resiliency. Resiliency is a really important topic because um, we often talk in the context of self-care, but self-care only gets us so far, right? Like we can only get our nails painted so many times before we're still losing our minds. So um, this week, I wanna specifically talk about how to ask for help. Um, this is a challenge that I have a lot. I wanna do everything myself. And I think that we as moms have a lot of social pressure to like do everything ourselves. And if you're a perfectionist like I am, then you want to do everything yourself perfectly. Um, and there's just not that many hours in the day. So for those of you who had like mental breakdown before Christmas, because you're trying to make all the things perfect, I'm talking to you right now. Um, so we want to make sure that we ask for help and asking for help can look like different things for different people. Not everybody has a spouse or partner that they can ask for help from. So maybe you are um, asking for help from somebody that you're paying. So maybe you pay for a housekeeper or for somebody to make meals occasionally. Um, or maybe you're asking for favors from friends or family to watch your kids on occasion while you go and get something else done. Um, so I, I feel like we feel like we don't have permission to ask those things. What makes us a great parent is if we get them all done ourselves. But what makes us a great parent is if we can be really attentive to our kids and um, handle it very appropriately in the moment. And so um, we can often do that better when we have asked for help and we aren't doing it all ourselves. So I want you to think about ways that you can look at your life, maybe write down all of your responsibilities throughout the week and then think through what of those things can be delegated to someone else. Um, this is very difficult for me um, to think that somebody else could do something and part of it is like coming to terms with like it's not going to be done as perfectly and that's totally okay. Um, but maybe that's something that you need to make a turn for in 2021 if 2020 kicked your butt like it did everybody else. So I hope that was helpful and I will see you next week.